Hello, my name is Corey. I've been playing Birthration for a very long time. Um, I've probably played possibly as many as a thousand games on a possible. So, uh, the purpose of this video is to share with you some of the ideas I use with Federation. Um, because strategy, strategies one might use might depend on the situation you find yourself. Um, besides talking a little bit about the theory, I will also uh, it will also do a playthrough, so you can see uh, what I do uh, as various situations come up. Because because um, I realize that that um, I, I can't possibly explain everything to you. And plus, when you see it and put it in practice, it might make more sense what I'm explaining as well. So, in any case, let's get to the game here. Um, configure game. So, like, like I said, the purpose of this is to show you how to play Impossible. With the, with the Federation. Um, there are many different things you can do, but for this playthrough, it would be advanced, not impossible, no random events, um, uh, and regular galaxy, and large. Uh, I find large the most interesting, but for sure. And um, a regular, I find to be the most stable. And I have random events off because the computer. Um, has a lot of trouble with random events. Um, and, and I want to be the computer, not random events to be the computer. Plus, ship come out as the best thing, and some random events can destroy their industry, which means you don't get a better than any ship battles. So, uh, anyways, I find it most fun to have it off, actually. Although, it might make sense to random events for a few times just so you can face the Borg, but once you see the Borg, uh, yeah, I'm ready to play it with AI. So. In any case, Let's get it going here. Select galactic power to control. Let's choose the Federation. United Federation of Planets. Now here in this intro screen here, they try to say that you should only expand with diplomacy. And quite frankly, it's just bunk. Because if you attempt to like say mass reduce colony ships, um, First of all, you can't get domination strictly by colony ships. Not impossible. And secondly, if you were to try that, the AI would sense your weakness, and everybody because war on you, and everybody takes your colonies that you just you worked real hard to to well. So um, almost the only time diplomacy can actually work is if you get a powerful ally who you became an alliance, and just by chance. You conquered so much of the galaxy that strict, strictly by peace, you're able to to win. And I had that has happened to me before. It's very, very rare. Most of the time, I have to do the heavy lifting. So, um, so let's take a look at our situation here. I always like to do a large map. Oh, we're in the center, kind of, but we are on the edge of the map, which does help. So. It still means we have three possible ways that we have to defend ourselves. So it's not a corner is by far the most ideal, but um, this is better than being in the center, though. So I'm not going to complain. Um, first thing first, do research. Uh, your first thing to research should be your heavy cruiser two. Uh, so I need construction, energy, and weapons. Um, one little trick I do is I will put a little bit in, in each one. Um, the reason why is if I get like say the Vulcans or one of the other uh, races that boost intelligence empire wide, then you get a 25% but like say Vulcans are what 35% yes, you get 35% bonus for each tech you're researching. So rather than just doing one and get a, a single 35% bonus, you can do three and get 35% bonus for every single one simultaneously. Um, so yes, you know, you research each one slower, but overall it's faster because you're getting a, a triple boost. So now of course right now I don't have these races so it doesn't make any difference either way, but if I get one of those races or if I get, um, you know, a race that, for example, like, say, the Bandy, who 
uh, have a structure that increases construction research, uh, then I'll be able to get the benefit of that. And if I just do one tech at a time, I might do construction completely without the help of the Mandy, and so then their their structure would become meaningless. But I could have that benefit if I do piecemeal and just kind of wait and see if I get any races that help my research. Um, so that's why I do that. All right. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so let's talk real quick about theory. Friction supposedly is one of the easiest to play, but the truth of the matter is um, they only get like four data banks at the start, right? So let me check that. Uh, yes, only four data banks. And if you encounter the Cadassians early, it can be disastrous. Uh, matter of fact, we get the least data banks of all races, although our data banks are a little bit better than a lot of the other races in terms of actual intelligence per unit. But even so, um, intelligence assessing on possible is critical for the Federation. Uh, and so that's one of the things I'll be doing is maximizing intelligence uh, when I encounter the Cadessians. Uh, at the start, I can just build structures. So let's see, uh, research is good, morale structures like private farm is good, and of course need some energy, let's do that. One little trick is you can use the arrow key to cycle through your systems, so that's kind of handy, makes it a little bit faster. It's population 225, it's not too bad, it could be worse. Get energy. Research and then morale because your morale drops rapidly on impossible. Might as well do research for now. Do energy. I don't usually do all structures. Um, in particular, you don't. Have, you don't need a shield until there's actual you're at war. So turn one, I don't need it. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy a dreadnought. The reason why is yeah, two reasons. One is if I encounter Cardassians early, I may need to go to war, and of course, uh, conquering planets and getting to their batteries is much easier than dreadnought. Uh, and secondly, um, as long as a navy race is not the Romulans, like the number of Ferengi, uh, Cadassians, or uh, Klingons. And a Dreadnought Command of Star Race is very good defense from our border. Um, I've had a Dreadnought and Dark Star Base take out just huge fleets before, so it's well worth it. Alright. Um, I'll probably need some colony ships. I almost always need two transports because. Um, to build star bases, and that's it for now. Let's see what, what we encounter. Okay, got a terraform probably. Yep. Let's, let's see. He's two twenty five, and he is let's see one hundred. Ooh, yikes! Terrible system. Okay. Yeah, if I can kind of counter the scenes early, it can be very tricky here. This is a bigger system, so let's terraform this one first. Sure, four. So one little tactic to use to minimize the chance of counting Christians Task force is to not explore engaged. too far, too rapidly. Um, matter of fact, in this situation, I think I explore to just the green for now, and then. As that's fully explored and and uh, colonized, I'll do the yellow, and then only when that's fully colonized and everything, then go to the red. And so, th theoretically, you can delay me and the Cardassians, and if I can delay me and the Cardassians, I can build um, uh, a fleet capable of, of defending my territory and, and if necessary, conquering. 
create pedestrian territory. Okay, turn one's ready. Wow, all the systems. Okay, let's get some exploring here done. Get some terraforming. Select planet for terraforming. So again, I want to stay at the green to minimize meeting credentials to early. Three turns. Um, I find it's often worth it to buy early. Just ordered. Three turns though. Um, yeah, that's fine. Because you really don't want it to be too slow in the opening. Has been discovered. The Angosians have a nearly perfect. An alien culture has been. An alien culture has been discovered. Hmm. Um. Well, I would surely rather use the instance of my friends, like the Asian friends, that's for sure, with their intelligence bonus. Um. So real quick on diplomacy. So if it's a scientific race, you want to do the first tone. If they're a warlike race, you want to do the third tone. And for all other races, do the second tone. These guys aren't scientific. They're not warlike either. So I use, I use the second tone. So usually I don't give money to Ryan races right in the beginning because the military is more important. But like I said, I'd much rather they join me in the good essence. So... Okay, finish exploration, use terraforming, fine, fine. That junkie system. Oh, bullion. Uh, bullions are receptive. Okay, fine. You have a little bit of money, be friends. Uh, let's explore. There we go. My good things. What is there? Are they positive? They are. Okay, fine. Um, I don't, I don't have anywhere to go with my colony ship yet, actually. Let's just wait a turn. Let's see if I can or anything useful. Oh, no, that's not that too good either. Oh, wait, what's this one? 95, 175, 275, 355, 430. Oh, wow, okay. That was a new priority. That is a great system. It's better than Seoul. Diplomatic messages have been received. Oh, friendship. Great. Treaty will be accepted. Okay. Uh, can we make it there? Uh, they're not. We can't. Okay. Check my colony ships. I wasn't doing anything. Terraforming. Fine. Fine. So here's a little trick. When you see it at two turns remaining, uh, if you can, it's often worthwhile to buy. Order. The reason why is um, if I do the full two turns and just wait, there's some wasted industry. And remember, industry is credits, basically. So if you buy instead, the excess industry is um, is converted into credits, and thus it's more efficient, not to mention you get your whatever it is you're wanting a little bit faster. So you're pumping on ships a tiny bit faster. Um, and with more money to, to use in the long run. So that's a little trick you can use. And it's a good idea to use it if you, if you have the money to do so. Um, all right. Nothing real important. About it. Okay, so let's get to that system. What is this system? Oop. I core. That seems like a good system to concentrate on. Uh, the reason why it can be so helpful is that if we do make that a, a fully dual colony, it can help tremendously in intelligence defense, which allows Seoul to keep building ships. Uh, and so that's, that's the main reason why it's so useful. 
Uh, okay, so I am French with Blaine's. Want to trade next turn? Transforming completed. Diplomatic messages have been received. Lithians are friends. Excellent. How about Elians? Are they? Do you like me enough to trade? Yes, they do. So we want to be friends. Okay. So Lithians, Blaine. So I think we're just gonna hang out on I core for everybody. So I've got a terraform right yet. Yeah, keep it terraform. Starting plant. So I'm gonna wait to turn two and buy that colony ship because it's three turns. Oh, already here, okay. Select planet for terraforming. Oh, I don't know. Okay, get the core. Let's get the going, it's up. eventually trade house morale surf fleet's good some more food is fine oh right okay fine okay two turns are waiting by that just ordered oh uh -huh. miss Okay, um, the Julians, did they accept my take active? No, they haven't accepted yet. Okay. Diplomatic messages have been received. Two turns? Yes. Bye. Purchase ordered. Do you have? Yes, I do. Excellent. Okay. We do not want to explore anymore. This is enough for now. Select planet for terraforming. Select planet for terraforming. Like I said, we want to develop this area. And just once it's fully developed, then we expand further. But the Klingons have advice that don't make colonies that you can't defend. And it's actually pretty good advice. So we will follow that. But the troops get to go. Terraforming completed. Purchase ordered. I need some warships. And in particular, I need some warships. So, so these troops are going to be the star base on our core. Remember what I'm saying? That, um,. Select With this system, I can use it for intelligence, which means if it's doing intelligence, Sol can stick with building ships, which is what I wanted to do, ideally. Okay, looking good. Terraforming completed. Purchase ordered. Now, those troops die core. Okay. Colonize. This system will be colonized. We might as well combine with the other one to speed up a little bit. Alright, he might as well colonize something. Is anything worthwhile? Junk? Junk? Um. Uh, Guess that's junk. Check that out, I guess. Do you buy a ship? Um, no, we're good. Okay. This system is now federal terraforming completed. All right. Power. Yes. Purchase ordered. Food. Yes. I'll make it grow faster. Grow faster. Research? Mm, sure. Let's 
So as soon as I'm done building my structures, I will then immediately go building data banks. This is good. I mean, it'd be nice if you could actually the other side of the galaxy, but I can't Earth assume that. Ordered. All right, you know what? Uh, there could be enemies on that side of the gal on this side of our territory, so I'll send that troop to here. An outpost will be constructed. An outpost. Um, might as well get calling nearby. Everything. Let's get these up. Try to maximize their Select planet terraform. terraforming. Select planet for terraforming. Purchase ordered. Just ordered. Cheap jerk. Wait, for a lot of systems, one of the first things I build is. Oh, wait, I won't have energy for that. Um, oh, but I will if I build some energy structures. So, anyway, as I was saying, when, almost always when I take a system or a colonize system, if I buy the first thing I buy, if I do buy, is. Uh, shipyards. Extend the range of my ships. Work together, speed that up. Okay, doing your job. Doing your job. Excellent. Doing your hand hand. Okay, good, good. Outpost constructed. Purchase ordered. Can't neglect the military. It's very important. I mean, yes, you need conscious, yes, you need troops, but you also need. Um, you need warships. Because otherwise, if you run across the Empire, they go, hmm, you look like easy pickups. And they declare war and take your stuff. So, the only way to stop that is to be ready for them. The Boy Scouts have a motto, be prepared. Well, that's actually a good, good advice. So now we'll build a starbase. A starbase will be constructed. Doing our thing, okay, good, good. Um. This system will be colonized. So a lot of times it's worthwhile to stake out territory right from the beginning. Um, even if it's not terraform, you just terraform later. Because in, in early going, it's more important to stake out your territory than to wait till three terraform then to um, And plus you get the morale benefit and the money benefit, even if it's just a, even if it's not fully terraform. So do that here. This system is now Federation territory terraforming completed. Purchase ordered. So, because I bought a food structure, I can buy extra industries, which will speed up the production of uh, units. Um, so that's why, if, if I can, I like to do that. Ordered. Can't really have money here, so I'm gonna have to watch turn spending a little bit more carefully here. Probably need four whoop, four extra cruisers. Um I 
assume we're going to survey. So the once that's built, so I'll reinforce the southern sector. Select planet for terraforming. I have enough two colonies, so it's okay to this system will be colonized. Fully terraforming, and plus it's going to be rapidly since they're small planets anyway. So they can terraform rather quickly. Yes, you check diplomacy. What do we got going here? Cordial, nice. Cordial. Set it. Hmm. Not ready to give them warning yet. But once I'm fully developed money wise, I core. I think I better pop up some more money with them. Pretty surprising I haven't run across an emperor yet. This system is now Federation territory. Terraforming completed. No, well, can't do research, I guess. Why not? Food and industry. Purchase ordered. Might as well maximize scanning. Definitely need a scanner, so I'm sure. All right, now, hmm. in this case, I don't think I'm going to be buying a subatomic system. The reason why is I'm probably more worthwhile in the long run to buy database because this is it's such a tiny system. So, my core, what are we doing? Oh, right, let's buy that. Purchase ordered. And the reason I'm buying that was for what? Scanner might be good. Oh, let's see in a second. Give me surveys. Is it enough to take that? Oh, let me see. All right, I never seen our thing. Starbase completed. Purchase ordered. All right, got our little research here. Good, good. Um, this is a court rate, right? yeah. Let's see, we have extra um, population units, workers to move around because we did the food. It gives us extra workers to, to allocate. Scanner, maybe? That could be useful. We don't have a lot of excess money, so we're going to let it develop naturally. Alright, let's see pretty well defended this sector. Let's build a star base. We'll Kef Kefka, defend that side of the territory. Just ordered. A little extra energy to play with, so might as well. Purchase ordered. All right, um, shield in or around, I guess, kind of invest in that, but yeah. So low extra energy, do that. And then, our French can want data banks. So data banks. Hmm. 
and then it's reinforced so I don't know where the AI Empire is darn it we have plenty to expand our own territories so we're not in a rush to find them diplomatic messages have been received Just ordered. Industry. Can be friends. Sure. Will be accepted. Select planet for terraforming. We're in a good situation so far. Terraforming completed. Purchase ordered. So we'll we'll want to keep an eye on our corner, make sure they're not wasting like the excess population. And they are gonna want to we'll want to buy to take full use of the population. Okay, we're gonna try thing. This system is now federated. Oh wow, a lot of energy. Okay. Purchase ordered. I'm gonna buy that. Purchase order. Next. There's only one extra unit. Oh, let's see, what's that? Growth rate? 4%. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Oh, like I said, we want to, of course, key to build intelligence so that soul can keep building. So now I want data banks. Like I mentioned before, I pretty much want all data banks and energy. That's it for my first two starting systems. That hopefully will allow Seoul to um, keep popping out the ships, ideally. Purchase ordered. All right, the surveys here. Those will be constructed. Star defenders. So it's okay. Let's just buy a few extra. Outpost constructed. You can see. Look at that growth. Purchase ordered. So it's worth while to buy it. Purchase ordered. A star base will be constructed. Purchase ordered. So, I have no idea where the emperors are going to spawn from. You guys can handle themselves.
purchase ordered. Purchase ordered. So, um, okay, all right. Good defensive position. Starbase completed. So, let's see, make sure I'm wasting, uh, I'm not wasting food. So, I'm not going to put actually anything into databanks until I meet an empire. Uh, this way, with the industry, I can maximize the production of my databanks. So, if I meet the Romans or the Cardassians, I am ready. Purchase ordered. Oh. My need would be Empire, so without troops, so we'll be able to do that. So. Purchase ordered. Okay, not doing too bad to take our course. Just ordered. There's nothing that hurt to buy. It's a good diplomacy. It's worth it to get them to join us. Like I said, it's much better they join us than the Romans or Cortesians. Got nothing there to do. An outpost will be constructed. Okay, it's going to come. Going rapidly, we need some more bite, I think. Really surprising how kind of any emperors get. Diplomatic messages have been received. Excellent. Treaty will be accepted. The nice thing about affiliation is that if the minor race is affiliated with you, they can't have any uh, relations with other emperors. It's sort of like a minor race alliance, basically. Them. Purchase ordered. So now, unless passing during to encounter the aliens of Cockrum, basically they're going to be ours. So we can rest easy a little bit more. Check 
that core. Oh, whoa, with the red by the murder key by, they're soon gonna up, gonna have to waste your workers. Purchase ordered. Diplomatic messages have been received. Treaty will be accepted. So, the thing about, you may wonder when's the best time to get the Myrith to join you, and that is, of course, when they get fully developed. Um, it's only 40, so not very developed, but the moment they are, you want to get them to join you. Not very developed, not very developed. So it's okay just to wait until it improves. Oh, right. And I forgot to do a core. Yeah, see, I gotta keep an eye on that. They're growing so fast. You can build that in one turn. Okay. Um, let's build some databanks. That's the only reason we get that system. Okay, fine. So I don't have to buy them. I have a food situation. A star base will be constructed. Now, Cardassians, you can't afford to make so many star bases, but Croatian makes. Second best man in the game, only second only is Frankie, so you can kind of get away with that. They'll sort of pay for themselves, like when enemy scouts go into our territory and they retreat, I'll get a big morale boost every time they run into our star bases. With, with so many, they they will guarantee they will. My turn. Okay. Good. Okay, we're wasted food. Which is what that is. I'm trying to avoid. Ah, developed. Not developed. Not developed. Okay, now they're fully developed. It's time to bring them in. Four ranks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Good. You do membership. You do both. Um, it's worth it, of course, to give them, give them full because. Um, just having them join will not only increase morale, which increases money, but I'll get money, of course, on the system itself. And 320 is respectable. If I ever get to Lithium, that could be a shipbuilding system, too, possibly. Okay, one turn. Good. Bullions. No, not yet. Complete. 
completed. Diplomatic messages have been received. So notice, but waiting to get into join you, they're much more developed. Big help. Research paper close again. Good mix, good, good. Um, I'm gonna run out of food, I think. Need a little bit more food. All right, since they're just hanging out, anyways, I go to train. Training order acknowledged. Turn okay, good, good. Got bullions, nope, not yet. Oh, aliens are ready. All right, too much sir. Oh, Skinner, here we'll give you every penny we have. That will help the money. So curious what the other emperors are up to. They, where they're fighting each other. Like, it happens occasionally when emperors like are fighting each other and they're duking it out. Um, and so they are not concentrating and exploring so much because they're they're busy with each other basically. Diplomatic messages have been received. I can trade with us, but of course, nowhere to trade with at the moment. You got this industry, but no dizium. I think I saw any dizium. Let's see if it. Uh, food, I think so. Hmm. Can't build chips. Gonna do them. All right. Oh, anyway, so we've got one, two, three, maybe four.
So remember I said a fully developed region of N, and once that's fully developed, we move on. Boolean similarly don't want to grow. Okay. Is your computer going to zoom you to the point? Yes, I mean, I'm doing a video right now, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, okay, where was it? Hey, training. A core you pump up later makes yes, good. Diplomatic messages have been received. Um, sure. Treaty will be accepted. Yeah. Ah. Very well the road really. They didn't even have Desium. Sure. Purchase ordered. Okay. Are you the target? Oh, two turns. Buy that. Purchase ordered. Okay, so uh, this will be the end of part one. So this shows you how I rapidly developed, get the close eye on my defenses, um, made sure to maximize my intelligence so I was ready in case of the Cardassians. Um, at the same time, I expanded and, um, you know, but the point is to expand safely rather than recklessly. Um, should be more alien combat contacts with the other empires next uh, video. So I'll see you guys next time.